Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines 2. Isn't this just the most exciting thing? I was so lucky to get a little bit of early access to this. Massive thank you to the devs and the publishers for providing a key so I could take a look at the game a little bit early. I was hoping to have a lot done, so this video should be out about on 5pm on Thursday the 19th, which is when the embargo lifts. So there'll be videos from a, hundreds of channels, possibly. So, you know, mine's going to get buried in, in the deluge that is, but that's fine. I was hoping to have a few pre-recorded, ready to go, so I could get a bit of a series going. Unfortunately, this week I've been a little bit poorly, and not just poorly, but my daughter has also been poorly, so we've been at home together, and I've been looking after her when she gets steadily better and makes things a lot worse for me, trying to be ill on the sofa when she's running around trying to dance along to her songs. But by the by, so I was hoping to have at least a day where I could sit down and get a few of these recorded. That hasn't happened, unfortunately, so it'll only be the one video, but I do want to make a few videos on this at the very least. Obviously, this is a pre-release version. Uh, as you can see, the version is 1.0.6F3. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there will be uh, probably some bugs and some things that are going to be patched before the game launches uh, in, in a little while. I'll have to figure out when that is, won't I? Uh, the only thing I've been asked to change by the uh, the people that provided me the key was the uh, a level of detail. I'm only mentioning this because I think it's worth mentioning because it will impact the, the quality of the game as it looks to you guys. So the level of detail I've been asked to set to very low because there is a known bug with that, but they're expecting that to be patched before launch, so that shouldn't be a problem for you guys. And I've also turned off uh, motion blur because who, who even likes motion blur these days, right? Crazy. So yeah, this is out on the 24th of October, so next week this will be out. <clears throat> and there'll be links in the description and all the user stuff for that sort of stuff. So, what are we going to do? Now, I've had a little look at the maps. I haven't I've only loaded up one and had a quick play around, like for literally 10 minutes at about 20 past 12 in, at night when I was trying to go to bed. And I was like, well, I should just make sure it works. And I managed to limit myself. But I'm thinking we're going to do the Great Highlands because it makes it sound like it's Scotland. It looks like it could be like the eastern coast of Scotland. And I like the idea of that. We got a lot of farmable land, lots and lots of trees, fair bit of ore, not so much oil, but we'll make do. We'll make do with it, that's fine. Let's hit start map, Manninton. That's actually not bad. I might just change that to uh, Mansington, and we'll call it that. We're going to go with the European theme. I want left-handed traffic because we're going to pretend this is Scotland. Natural disasters is on, we'll leave those off. Um... Yeah, we'll leave the tutorials on. I shouldn't really need them. I should be fine with it. In fact, no, should we turn them off? No, we're going to turn them off. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just fluke our way through it, right? I've played a fair bit of City Skylines. I'm sure I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so the only bit of pre-launch news I think is worth mentioning is the fact that they've announced, well, a couple of things. One, they've announced that modding isn't going to be available in the game at launch, which is perfectly fine, those sort of things. The tools take a little while to build, and there is so much more in this game compared to the first one. Maybe not everything you might have hoped for, but th there's a fair bit there. But the other piece of news that came out is that they're not going to support the Steam Workshop. They're going to use the Paradox mod store so you can access the mods uh, from the launcher or in game i'm not sure which one uh, which means that on the plus side it means that consoles and the xbox game pass version of the game will have the same mods available to them so that's going to be awesome for console players on the other hand I'm not saying this is happening, all I'm saying is people have suggested this is a potential thing. It does give the potential to lock off mods behind paywalls, have paid mods, paid groups of mods. Obviously that's not currently on the cards, they haven't said anything like that's ever going to happen. I'm just letting you know that that's some of the concerns that people in the community have had, and if that did happen, I would be a little bit frustrated. The City Skyline's longevity was carried entirely by its modern community, adding new maps and stuff like that for a bit of difference in your, your building areas, but more importantly, the mods that make the game the quality of life mods, like the ones I used. I did a live stream for City Skylines a little while back, and I used a fair few mods for quality of life purposes because I wanted to be able to play the game in a way that was slightly different from the vanilla non-modded non -modded version. But anyway, so just something to bear in mind, something to keep an eye on. There's not a lot we can do about it. Someone did point out that other games, maybe even a Paradox game, had Steam Mod Workshop support, but then just copied the Steam mods into the Paradox site. There's no reason they couldn't do both. So maybe they'll change their mind. Uh, I don't know. Like I say, I'm just mentioning it, just a heads up, just in case modding is something that's near and dear to you, which I suspect for a lot of City Skylines players, it will be. Right, let's have a little look at our map then. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Obviously we're very, very far out, and like I said, the level of detail is set to low, which is why it all looks a little bit bland from afar. As I said, that is a known bug, so expect that to be fixed. So we have a little trumpet interchange here, coming off this motorway. We have another exchange over here. I thought that just joined onto itself, or is that the rail? Yeah, that's the rail line over there, okay. And that goes all the way up to that edge of the map. Oh, an outside connection point for creating passenger airplane lines and cargo airplane routes. Oh, and there's a little plane. Look at that. How cool is that to see for like our first ever little asset in game? I like that. I like that a lot. But we're going to be starting over here in this particular square. So we have access to this uh, river. I guess it's a river, although currently not rivering very well over that bit, but that's fine. So it outputs over to the ocean over here, which I'm assuming is an ocean anyway. We have some highlands on the coast over here, which, I mean, that looks like a beautiful place to build something, doesn't it? <clears throat> uh, we have the highway and we have our, our external power connection over here. So that's if we wanted to buy or export power, we'll connect our power, line, our power grid to that and allow us to do that. Wonderful. Right, let's start doing stuff then, shall we? So there's not a lot of room. Oh, what's this road? Where does this go? Is that another external route? Yes, yeah, another external route there. So I'm immediately thinking we'll make this. Oh, I like the fact it does an automatic turnaround. You don't have to put a roundabout there or put a loop on it. automatically adds a turnaround on the end. That's nice. I, th I think it may have done something similar in the previous games, but I like the fact it's got the road marker there. I don't remember seeing that before. So I'm thinking immediately we'll make this our industrial area and it can use that line there for an external route. And then we'll do like a residential area over here. Well, we'll do a residential here and then we'll turn this into like a little downtown area. Obviously, we will hope to buy some more tiles at some point as well, but, you know, one thing at a time. So, what do we have available to us at the moment? We have a bunch of roads and we have medium roads. So, is that an actual roundabout there? Yes. Yeah, so do we want to keep the roundabout? Or do we want to turn... Do we want to just put, actually, one road which goes and joins up to that and acts as, like, one major collector? We can't upgrade the rest of this road, obviously. And it is only two lane, but my immediate thought is that's what we'll do. So we'll get the. I'm, I'm going to delete the roundabout. And then we're going to get a four lane road. And you'll notice it can snap to multiple points. You can snap it to the edges of the road. You can snap it to the middle, you can snap it over here, and it shows you all these lovely little grid lines which show where it's going to snap to and what it will look like when the roads join together. So we want it right in the middle, obviously. And I'm thinking our road's over here, so if we can do about there, so it's 168 degrees at both of the roads joining this one, so it's about as straight as it's going to get. It's a very little elevation, and I want to turn on a simple curve We'll find our 168 degrees again, which is about there, and then we'll just connect that up, and we'll zoom in to make sure it's actually centered, or can we not center it, we can't center this one, okay, we'll put that one there then, like that. So we have our first little collector, can we turn zoning off? Like I say, I played a little bit of this, but not a lot. I would like to turn zoning off, but I don't know if that's an option at the moment. Paint, marquee, fill, European, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna, we're probably gonna... Some assets are European or North American only, so you need to be a little bit careful of that if you are looking to do a particular type of town. So it looks like we can't do uh, D-zone at the moment at the very least. Maybe that's something we get through upgrades, which we'll talk about later on. So I'm going to do... What am I going to do? I said I was going to build a little industrial area over here, didn't I? So maybe we'll put a roundabout in here. And then we will take a two-lane road. Come in. How does it snap to roundabouts then? Just like that. Perfect. We'll do a little two-lane road here. And we'll make... 
yet, actually. What I might try to do... Let's bring a junction off there like that. And then we'll make this our um, our industrial zone back here. It's a bit of an angle, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Fine with that. As I mentioned, I have been a little bit ill, so there are a few coughs going on. I'm trying to hide them from you all. I'm trying so very, very hard. But if any sneak through, I do apologize. A two-lane wooden covered bridge. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I like that. Pedestrian street, alley, gravel road, three-lane one-way, two-lane one-way, one-lane one-way, and a three-lane asymmetrical road. Okay. So, let's build a little grid for our industrial area then. You can notice there are also a number of snapping options. Some of these are new, I believe. So you can snap to existing geometry, you can snap to zone in cell length, snap to 90 degree angles, snap to the sides of a building, which is very useful if you're trying to build a road around an asset. Snap to guidelines and snap to zone grid. We're going to leave it all on for the moment. We're also going to turn on contour lines just so we can see them. This is something that wasn't planned to be in release. Almost insanely, this wasn't planned to be in release, which, yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but contour lines for me, for your, your building purposes, are um, super, super important. So it is very, very good they did decide to get those in early. And I know I've been watching a couple of the creators who already have access to City Skylines too, and they are very happy that they have had access to zoning grids straight away. So if we go around, is that going to, is that where I want it? Yeah, that's about perfect. And then if we go, notice it's built this line here, this line's appeared here, going vertically up to that road, shows you where you're mapping to that road. I don't want to do curved roads. So it's not quite a perfect grid, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I don't want to build a perfect grid layout. I want it to be a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit unusual. It is relatively flat here. You can see there are contour lines, but nothing major particularly. Um, and we'll probably build a road right through the middle. In fact, you know what? I might do a an alley right through the middle. Just for something a little bit different. So that's going to be the start of our industrial area. Let's pop the roundabout back in here, shall we? No, let's not do that. Let's just take a road straight off of the medium road here. I was going to come this way for residential, wasn't I? So we don't want to go too close to the industrial, obviously, for obvious reasons. Oh, we're still in an alley. Silly me, where's the upgrade option? Where is the upgrade option? Replace, that's what I want. Did you see I could replace it at different uh, symmetries as well? So I could replace it there or there? Very much enjoying a lot of these new tools they brought into the game. They're very exciting. Let's go back with a straight road. We do also have, actually, the grid tool now, don't we? So this is a tool that allows you to very quickly build a grid in. What's it done there? It appears to have deleted a part of the map so we can see the underlying water table. don't know why it's done that. A little bit of a bug. Like I say, uh, we can't undo things. <laughs> I forgot we can't undo things, otherwise maybe I wouldn't have done that. So if we just delete that... Yeah, there we go. And then we'll put a road in... I don't... Why do you keep wanting to do that? How weird is that? How weird is that? Okay. Um... I'm going to bring this at a bit of a weird angle then, just so it's not going to, uh, not going to do that. That's fine. So we've got a little bit of residential. Let's unpause the game. Let's zone some residential. And we'll put, oh, I don't have, oh, I do have commercial. Of course I have commercial. We'll put a little bit of commercial in, just like a little well, one there. And then maybe we'll do like a little bit over here as well. Just a couple of corner shops, you know, to get people started.
We're in the European mode, so we should see some... U oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Got rid of my corner shops. You're listening to Second Moon, so we should see some lovely European-style buildings coming in. Awesome. Ah, now, they have no electricity, they have no water. Of course they don't have any electricity or water. Why would they have electricity or water? They should... They, so you can see the roads do now carry water uh, wastage and water supply by default. But you can also see those water supplies do not carry to the outside road on motorways or external uh, connecting roads by default. So on the plus side, you no longer have to build the majority of your own water pipes. They are automatically under the road, as City Planner players would love to see, because that's where they belong. But that does mean we need to get a water pumping station and also a sewage outlet. So a water pumping station, we'll pop that up here. Water level too low. Well, that's better. There we go. And that's going to require a road. We're just going to put a little gravel road. Give it a lovely little curve. And we'll connect that up to the roundabout. Oh, I don't like how that looks at all. That's a little better. It's a little better. It looks like it's actually connected to the building at least. And then we are going to need sewage as well, of course. So right now, we do have a groundwater pumping station. We do have some groundwater available to us. But for now, we'll just use the water from there. Just confirm that this is going out to the sea. Right now, the only option we have for sewage is to have a sewage outlet. So that is exactly what we're going to have. And I might even pop that on this side. So that it's nowhere near any of our existing areas. So let's get a combined pipe of both sewage and water. In fact, that probably doesn't need a combined pipe, does it? It just needs a sewage pipe. So let's just connect a sewage pipe to it. Now, it doesn't look like it's connected, does it? Now it's connected. And you can even see the depth to it, look. So that one comes along and goes up to there. That's quite cool. And this building over here, oh, it's already connected because it had a road. So the road has automatically connected it to the water. Perfect. So that's that problem sorted. What else are we going to need? They're going to need electricity. What do we have available to us? We could connect to the external connection. That would solve the problem temporarily, but obviously that would then cost us money. We have a transformer station which we'd need if we connected that to our grid, I believe. We have a small coal power plant and we have wind turbines. Do we have any good windy areas? Not really. Once we get up here, they're going to be a little bit better because it's going to be higher and windy. You can see the, uh, the arrows are in a lovely orange color there, but down here, it's not bad. In fact, it's pretty good over in areas over here, isn't it? How much does this produce? This produces 20 megawatts. These produce... So we'd need a few of those. It's not going to be a lot different money-wise, is it? I'm going to go with wind. I'm going to go with wind. We're going to find some lovely areas we can pop them down in. 4.78 is pretty good. Four point eight. Oh, there was a five there. So let's go with the four of them for now. Now, how do we actually connect up electric? Do we just do this? What do we need to do to get it connected to electric? There we go. Wasn't quite snapping to the, uh, the parts I was expecting before. So we'll bring that. In fact, we're going to follow the road. And that should be enough. Once this starts filling in, they should start connecting to the electric grid. I don't know exactly how close that has to be to the zone. We'll add a little bit more if we need to. And then we do want to bring in this power line over here. Because we are going to want to connect that to our grid. 
You can see it won't connect to our power lines directly. We'd need a transforming station. I believe. Let's figure out if this is right. Took me a second to figure out how to rotate items, but there we go. So I'm going to pop this one. I might put it on this side. Do we, can we see where it needs to connect things to? Not really. We'll pop it down there and we'll take it from there. Oh, we've already gone up to a tiny village. Look at that. Your efforts are bearing fruit and your city has taken its first steps towards success. We've got some money, we've got an upgrade point, and we've got, I think that's a tile point. Have a look a little, little look at our progression panel. You can see that we get... Uh, Yep, so we've got some map tiles, more money. We've got medium density row housing and North American density road housing. We've got some more roads. We now have health care, which is going to be very useful, and also garbage management. Excellent. And this is where you spend your upgrade points. So if you haven't seen this before, this is entirely new to City Skylines. So you have an upgrade system. So we start with our basic road services. Do you want more roundabouts? You need to buy them with your upgrade points. You want advanced road services? You need to buy them with your upgrade points. Do you see where I'm going with this, don't you? And that applies to all areas. So we start with our basic services. If we want to get better power stations, or if we want to get a battery station to store electric when uh, you know it's not very windy, you need to upgrade to get that. Right, let's finish connecting this in. So let's connect this straight over here. It doesn't go too close to the road, does it? No, that looks fine. And then we'll connect. I don't know why there are two connectors. I'm gonna connect that directly into the wind turbine because I think that looks better. So that should be our power sorted. So even if these aren't producing enough power, we will now buy power from the external power grid. And if we're producing too much power, we'll sell it back to the grid. It'll make us money. We're gonna need to zone some industrial. So that's water. Do we see anything else other than water? How do we see... I would like to be able to see if we can see our... Um... Industry stuff. But I can't see where that would be. How would we get to that? I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, unfortunately I didn't get to play this quite as much as I'd have liked. Fire, disaster, education, administration, please, transport, post. Hmm. Natural resources, that's what we want. We can't quite see it yet. So we'll just assume this is going to be fine. Again, I might put a tiny little uh, commercial area up here because these people are going to need food. We'll pop that one just there. I don't want to zone anything along this main road here. So we'll leave that as is. And then we'll zone in some industry right in the middle there. And we will also, we will probably need to connect that. Some roads do cow up carry power as well so let's see if this is enough for us to uh in fact i can see that's not joined look i can see you're not joined It says it's overlapping. It says it's overlapping the road, so I can't connect it to the power that goes directly through there. But if we do something weird like that, it's a little weird, but that has connected the power, and you can also see that, as I mentioned, some roads do carry power as well. So that power now goes all the way up there via this road, through the roundabout, and over to the industrial area. So we do not need to connect power up there anymore. Excellent. Right, we can close that little panel over there. Let this all zone in. Excellent. Speed everything up a bit to get it going. We have a huge demand for medium density straight away. Like, it took no time at all to get that. I'm loving our little windmills over there. I think they look great. So, let's start thinking about where we're going to put some medium density then. What are you complaining about? No car access. You joking? You are literally built on a street. If you continue to complain, I will demolish you. That's, that's how it's going to go. You can either build or you cannot. I don't really mind. Right, medium density housing. So we should probably think about 
extending this junction and connecting in another one over here, perhaps? Just to give people... I still got carved on. Just to give people an additional way in and out of this area. And then let's try our grid tool again. So if I do that, line up with that one, and just do that. Beautiful. Got rid of one of those annoying ones complaining they don't have. Condemned. What do you mean condemned? How are you condemned already? No idea. So we have some European medium density row housing. Let's go for it. We're going to put those there. We're going to put those there and there for now. In fact, we'll put them there. And something I learned from City Planner Plays is not to do the one on the edge straight away till like this one here has filled in. Otherwise, you potentially have them coming the wrong way like this because the row housing is longer. Hmm. Do you know what? We're just going to let it go. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. We're not going to be too fussy about it. So that's on its way. We now have de uh, demand for low density residential, which is being built and is on our way. We'll probably have to extend our residential over to this area at some point soon. But for now, let's continue. So let's put it there, bring this up here. What do you mean overlapping items? What's it's overlapping with the road. What do you mean it's overlapping with the road? <laughs> Of course it's overlapping with the road. That's what I want to connect to. What if I start on this side? Power grid. The city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public I don't want to break the road to uh, just get this in. This is uh, this is silly. This is silly. So I'm going to do it. So I'm sorry for the buildings that are built there already. Consider installing. Not my fault. Toilet. I promise. Someone else's fault entirely. With a friend whenever possible. Still won't let me. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to This looks like it is now overlapping with itself. Never. Oh, the joys of a pre-release game. ...from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local... That's so we're going to unzone all of those bits. Too much of a good thing. Or we and see if that helps us put this road in. ...positive trade balance, and the economy is booming. More after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But is it these ones that's overlapping? Because I, I will just demolish them. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. What do so you think you're overlapping with? Bad for the people trying to move here, right? Do you know what? Fine. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Still overlapping. There's nothing there to overlap. Oh, so I got the zone tool on. That's my fault. That one was my fault. Rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. There we go. All right, that's fine. We don't need a connecting road there. They'll they'll make do. By certain metrics, perhaps, yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. So we'll zone in that, we'll zone in that, and then I might put some medium density row housing over there. Let's speed everything up, let it go a little bit. We're starting to get more of a commercial demand coming in. I figure commercial will put in the middle of these two. I do love this row housing, by the way. It's so quintessentially British. Not that these look overly British, but you know, having just row housing is just uh, such a British thing. And having this weird setup that we've got here for these is uh, very un-British, but that's the way it's building in, and I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. 
So you can see what I meant over here about the zoning. If I hadn't zoned this last one in and allowed it to create all the row houses along there first, we would have had a better looking street. Something like this one over here. Something like this one over here. With their beautiful big gardens. And they've all got sheds as well. This is a very luxurious area. Right, our commercial demand is getting through the roof now. So let's think about what we're going to do there. Do I want to build like a commercial buffer in between these two? Or do I want to start pushing over in this direction? Let's build a commercial buffer in between these two, shall we? So we'll continue on from this road here. I would like to do a parallel, not a parallel mode. What is it I want to do? Well, it is parallel, but I don't want to build two. I want it to build alongside this one. I'm sure there's a way of doing that. But I'm not sure how that works now. I don't know. I guess we'll just wing it. We'll just wing it. It's fine. So we don't want parallel mode on. We do want a simple curve on. Yep, something like that I think looks good. And then we might turn this into a roundabout. Can't turn it into a roundabout. How is that not roundaboutable? That's a word. Don't look it up. Turn that into a roundabout. And then connect this road up to the roundabout. Perfect. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a definite. I don't like that at all, but. Mm, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. There we go, that looks much nicer, much nicer. And then we'll bring a road off here, bring that up to there. Ooh. Do you know what, I actually might do a curve. I wasn't going to do a curve, but I'm going to do a curve. And then we will grid. I wonder how grids work. Yeah, they don't really. They don't really work that well on a curved road. That's fine. We will do this by hand. So I'm going to line that up with this road under the assumption we might one day connect to it. We'll bring this in. In fact, I could do with a nice curve here, couldn't I? Bring that up to that guideline there. Bring this road in to about here. Then connect that up. There. And then let's make a few. One there, and we'll do one like that. So you can see the zoning is absolutely all over the shop, which isn't ideal. But I wanted to do something a bit more interesting. So we'll make this our little commercial zone. This will be like a little town centre sort of area. Industry demand is now through the roof. So let's... We could just zone more industry, actually. We don't need to worry too much about... Um, I don't want to do... No, actually, no, I will do all that. Why not? We'll let that come in. That's going to bring that demand down a little bit. We can speed things up a little bit. Look at our wonderful housing over here, look. Beautiful mix of low density and row housing. Completely against all sort of building regulations that would have exist, existed anywhere, pretty much, in this weird sort of amalgamation we have. But, you know, City Skylines is about making something your own, and that is what I'm doing here. I'm making it my own. Why is nothing coming there? Ah, because the zoning is all on that side. So you do get some weird zoning sort of 
creations that it comes up with. Did I not zone in the middle there? I did not. Well, we'll wait to see what sort of demand comes in. We're getting more commercial demand, but we are just building all this commercial. So I'm s I suppose it is already on its way. So I don't know whether the demand is filled when it starts building or when it's completed building. I'm guessing when, it's com when it starts building. So we're going to need some more commercial. We do. We did also unlock some... Um, what am I going to say? Uh, like healthcare and stuff. Some city services. Services, that's the word I was looking for and failing miserably to come up with. We'll have a quick look at that in a moment. In the meantime, we'll just get some more commercial in around here. If we could even... I'm going to try and leave that road clear, actually. Right, so what did we get? We have got a medical clinic. You can see our current coverage is very, very poor. Very, very poor. I'm wondering if maybe we'll build like a little services area, like sort of here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a little a little area for city services. We can use that as then as a sort of a, a junction to start doing other things later on. So let's bring that in here. Where's my 90 degrees? How is that 90 degrees off that road? Is it because I've got the curve tool on? It says that's 90 degrees. That does not look like 90 degrees to me. You can also see the semicircles that it has there. That shows the width of the zoning grid. So you can appropriately plan the size of your... Like, yeah, I'm, I definitely put a little extra weird curve on the end of that, didn't I? Let's get rid of that. It's because I still had the, uh, the circular road tool selected. Circular. The curved road tool selected is what I meant to say, obviously. Then let's put in... We'll leave the one in the middle. We'll do that. Yeah, I quite like that. Right, city services. So they should be close enough to have a very positive impact. They are close enough to have a very positive impact. Something to bear in mind when you build services, though. Something that's new to City Skylines too. So I could put the hospital in up here, in this little block here. If I did that, however... I would have to be very, very careful because if you put it down here, buildings, particularly services, are now upgradable. Some upgrades will uh, just fit into the already existing plot of the building or the asset. Others, like this ambulance, or the ambulance depot, that's a perfect example. You see the ambulance depot goes over the existing parking lot there fits in the existing boundaries of the asset didn't mean to build it no worries that's fine <laughs> but the extension wing has to be built alongside it in an additional plot of land so you always want to make sure you leave enough space or when you put a building down you have enough space to put down the extensions that may be required in the future so what i might even do here so it's going to go two squares over that there I might put a... Do we don't even have pedestrians yet, do we? So I might just put an alley in. Just here. One more up a little bit, maybe. Just so that I know that space there is reserved for the wing of the hospital. Can't believe I upgraded the hospital with a, with an am, extra ambulances already. What are you complaining about? Waiting for a hearse. Well, you're going to be waiting a long time because we do not have any death care yet, I don't think, do we? Oh, no, we do! We do. <laughs> we have a very large cemetery. Where am I going to put the cemetery? I closed that so I could see it in its normal colours. I might just put the cemetery, you know, right here. So it's viewable from the motorway. Because I, I like a nice cemetery, you know. I don't know. Oh, we are now a small village. Excellent. Uh, so we have more money, more reward points, and more tiles we can purchase. I don't know if the cemetery has any upgrades. We can build a temple, which uh, looks like it goes alongside, but we've got some room behind us. We can build a mausoleum, which also can go well, not quite alongside us. And we have a 
Columbarium. Columbarium. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. So there we go. We have a lovely cemetery. We have our hospital now serving the entire community. We should now be getting a house on the way. I don't know if it's already gone or if we can if we could find it. How did someone die in our city already, by the way? We're like, we've just been going. Right, we also have garbage. Rubbish management is how I'm going to class as. So we only at the moment have access to a landfill. So this, I'm not sure we want to put this near our hospital and services area. It is also quite large. So I couldn't fit it in over in this area where the... Uh, where that is. So I think we maybe come off this junction here. I've just noticed how asymmetrical that is and that immediately concerns me. Not because it's going to cause problems, because I don't like it. <laughs> just going to check these cables again now we're in this view. Yeah, loads of room. I'm not sure you would have high power lines going straight across a motorway like that. You'd probably tunnel them underneath so that, you know, there's no risk of... Uh, any stray things catching them. What is that up there? Oh, that's one of the connection arrows. I thought it was like a blimp or something miles away. Talking about blimps, so... I don't know whether you would expect everything from the previous DLCs for City Skylines to be in City Skylines 2. If you do expect that, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. Not everything is in there. Some things are, some things aren't. I'm a bit 50-50 whether whether that sort of thing should be in there by default or not. I can't quite make my mind up if I'm being honest. It would be certainly be nice if it was, but it's not, so hey-ho. So I'm going to join that up to that roundabout so the hospital has slightly easier access to the industrial area should it need it. We have a huge housing demand again, so let me just quickly zone in some more low-density residential. I guess we'll just take up these two blocks here. Perfect. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't And then I was thinking back? about well, rubbish I management, wasn't I? So I think we'll come off this junction. We'll bring that up you know, you move so it's level with that one. We might even connect those together because that seems like a likely thing that's going to happen at some point, doesn't it? And then maybe we'll put our rubbish like over here somewhere. So maybe if we put the rubbish landfill down first. If I can figure out where the road and you know what that means, folks. It means we're not entrances. Well, In fact, saying that, I know that when I put this down, and bringing money into local that's right. Economy. You could almost say, yes. Yeah, so that brown ring is going to be the uh, the pollution ring. We don't want to get that over our, our residential area, so that's about fine. So let's pop that down there, and now we designate where the actual landfill is going to be. So maybe that maybe that circle was purely. Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing where you can add the um people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain. I did that because I wanted to get it lined up with the road perfectly. I don't know if that's yeah, no, now it says it's an invalid shape. Entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. Right, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing So that'll do for the minute. I wanted to try and keep it away from the view of people too much. Although the people coming into our city from the motorway do immediately get to view that. Um, I'm just going to skip that. Hopefully get some actual music on in the background. That sounds a bit more like it. And the next thing we need is education. We need an elementary school and a high school. Now, I'm not sure I want those in our services area. That's going to be more for... Um, police and fire and things like that that we don't quite have yet so where are we going to put these they are quite large do you know what i might do i might buy a new tile i might buy this tile over here so we have seven tiles we can build you can see the tiles are now a lot smaller than i believe they used to be which gives you a little bit more freedom, a little bit more flexibility. So if I wanted to connect to the train line up here, I could just build these. Oh, not that one, that's the road. I could just build, like, you know, something like that, a little L-shape getting over to the train line and bring a train line across those rather than having to purchase massive tiles. It means I don't need to purchase this one here. We can just purchase... I'm going to purchase those two. There's a little bit of oil there as well, which is interesting. Can we now see... Natural resources. Where were they? 
There they are. No, we need a large village for that. We're not far off. We're not far off. Right, so let's build a little school district. I'm going to assume that the primary school and the secondary school are all part of the same uh, educational thing. So we're going to build a little area for these to go. bring that out a bit further actually be nice if I could know where the middle I'm pretty sure that's the middle right so if I bring that to like there we'll delete that in a minute because I don't actually want that there just wanted to use it as a guideline We'll put our elementary school in here. And again, you need to be a little bit careful. There are upgrades. They may well have external upgrades like the playground and the extent. Or the extension wing doesn't, but the playground does. So you just do need to bear that in mind as always. And I will put this high school on the other side. No, I won't because it's not going to fit. Would it have fitted in there? Would it have fitted in there? That's not the right word. Let's just delete that then. And we'll swap those over. The high school will go on this side. And then once it's in, we'll figure out if we actually have any room for any potential upgrades it might require. The library just fits on. The extension wing just fits on. The sports field definitely doesn't. When it comes to that, we'll just delete that lovely curved road. But I just wanted to make it look a bit more interesting. It's also cut right into the land behind it, I can see now. So maybe we'll just do a bit of softening. We can't do any softening there, probably because of the road being there as well. I don't know. Makes it a bit more sheltered, right? So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. Right. Demand is through the roof again. Commercial is particularly through the roof. I'm quite liking this weird little grid layout we have here, so I'm going to try and stick with that a bit. So let's... Oh, we're already on a, a curved road, so let's bring that in there. We'll bring this in so it lines up over there. Try and get it to match the existing curve a bit more. Again, I'm very sure there's a way to do this better. But right now, I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to just do this. And we'll bring this road up here. And then we'll zone in some more commercial. In fact, I'm not going to do those. We'll save those for industrial. I might even put in industrial there, there, and there. And we'll extend our commercial this way a bit more next time. We have a huge demand for low density housing. I think we have some new roads. We do have some new roads. We have to think about maybe upgrading some things at some point as well. Why can't I get that 90 and 90? No, that's fine, whatever, do that. Do we want to join that up there? No, so we're going to get rid of that at some point, aren't we? So we won't do that. We'll put that there. What if we do that? What happens to the road? It's a little bit janky. I say it's a little bit janky. It's actually very jank. It's very jank. If we put it there. That's better. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm not sure I like this massive crossing. We don't currently have a way of getting rid of them. I, yeah, just a, a spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, just so you're aware, the there are better road management tools in City Skylines 2. Oh, by the way, look how I can build straight across the middle of that road there, and it'll just build a junction straight there. Isn't that wonderful? Um, there are better road management tools in City Skylines 2. They're not quite as good as the mods. Oh, we now have medium density, just standard housing. Do we need any medium? We do need some medium density, actually. Let's pop some of that in there. Let's see what that looks like. And then we'll do some low density in the middle. 
Right next to a school as well. That's prime real estate, that is. Waiting for a hearse, despite being called some time ago. I don't know why the wait would be so long, seeing as the cemetery and the hospital are just there. And we have extra ambulances as well, so if there's not a hearse available, just whack them in an ambulance. We've got loads. We've got much more than we could possibly need. I'm liking this sort of, um, dusk kind of area. Condemned. Yeah, we'll demolish it then. There we go. That's fine. So performance-wise, I'm having no issues with the games whatsoever. It's not quite 60. It's hovering around 50 frames a second. We'll have a quick look at the options. I think it's all uh, medium, medium, medium. Like I say, level of detail very low and a disabled motion blur, but everything else is on medium. Looking good and running pretty steady. Like I say, not a full 60, but not enough for me to realise that anything isn't going as smoothly as it could be, perhaps. We do want to think about getting some of these points spent, do we? How long have I been going? About 50 minutes. What is it we're going to want? Water treatment will probably be something we really want. I don't like spewing toxic sewage into the environment. You can see there. Where, can we see a, a pollution? Is there a pollution overlay? There's noise pollution. Water pollution. Uh, so right now, maybe I'm just looking at... Maybe it's just the shadow. I thought that was all pollution along there. But I think actually it's that lighter brown we have down there. So I think water treatment would be a good thing. I don't like just spewing filth into the ground. We have three points available. What else could we get? We could have a crematorium. As well as a proper hospital. Incinerator and recycling centre. We will need those at some point. This will fill up. This will fill up and that's going to be a problem. I think, I don't know if it's been patched out yet, but I know not long ago when City Planner Plays did a uh, City Skylines 2 city, his landfill filled up and when he deleted the, the landfill, it just deleted all the rubbish. It was, uh, it was wonderful. What you normally have to do is mark them to no longer accept waste, which is probably using one of these down here. Start emptying, yeah. No longer accept waste and take the waste you have to another facility, whether that's a landfill or a recycling plant. I never actually bought anything, did I? I, I? I just paused for a second. I was like, what am I thinking? What am I missing? Right, let's get a water treatment plant because I think we're going to want that. What does an advanced water pumping station do? A highly efficient and powerful surface water pumping station. Let's get the water treatment plant. Let's unlock that. That'll be our first unlock. Now, does that have to go anywhere special? Wait, did that say that cost 480? I've paid very little amount to how much ever, uh, very little attention to how much everything costs until I saw 480,000 come up. But okay, fair enough. It is what it is. I don't think this requires groundwater. Be odd if it did, I suppose, because it just takes sewage and, and treats it, right? It only treats 50%. So do we still need the sewage outflow? Maybe. I'm going to put this um, I'll put this in on the inside here, actually. Oh, and we are now a large village. We've got more money, more upgrade points, more tile points. Excellent. That also means we can now see our natural resources. So we can see there is some... Is that farmland? Is that what that is? Is that fertile land? It's a little hard to tell. We have what looks like ore over here. Where's that oil? Yeah, because that's ore. Farmland, ore, oil. So nearby to us, we have oil right back here. So we might not want to extend our housing any further back than it already is if we're considering turning that into a large industrial zone at some point. Commercial is through the absolute roof. Let's do something about that, shall we? Let's bring this road over. Might just join that up. So I just like the way... I don't like the crossings. I think the crossings look silly. Because why would you have a crossing like that and a crossing like that? They would just go there and there, right? So that's a bit ridiculous. But I love the way the two roads just merge together. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now if we put our curved tool on, we'll bring this one in over here. 
We can continue that one down here. And then we won't zone on the right hand side of it because of the house in there. <clears throat> Bring that in at 90 degrees. And again, it's not in any way a proper and beautiful grid. I don't like doing proper beautiful grids all the time. I like it when it's a little broken up. It looks a bit more interesting. Obviously, the most efficient way to play the game is to just grid, 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 build some more grids, 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 grids. Everyone's happy. Everyone's got a grid. But like I say, that's not necessarily how I like to, uh, how I like my cities to look. I like them to look a bit interesting. Lack of labor. We do need some low density housing. And I'm a little unsure as to where we'd even put that now, to be honest. Because we have our oil over here. So maybe behind the school we can put a little bit in up here. We're saving like all of this for industrial. We really need to think about... I wonder if that's like fishing. Is that like fishing? Like why is that all orange? Or is that just the colour of... I think that's just the colour of water actually. Got myself a bit confused. We might want to think about buying some more tiles. And it's maybe extending over this way. Making this like a little suburb area over here. Oh, then again, they only have that small access road. But then, I could then upgrade that road, couldn't I? I could make it four lanes all the way up. Let's think about doing something like that, shall we? Let's think about doing something a bit silly before we finish up. Well, no. The point is we are selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive... Was well, this our first night time? I think this is our first night time, isn't it? Unless I've just been paying no attention whatsoever. Normally, <clears throat> when you're recording videos in City Skylines, the original, like, you'd always lock it so it's daytime all of the time so you don't see night time because it isn't generally as good for uh, for youtube videos when it's all just dark oh aurora borealis mate you're having a laugh that looks beautiful mate you're having a laugh what's wrong with me <laughs> right so let's think about what we're going to do here we are going to first of all upgrade this road that upgraded very weird. We are going to delete this section of road. So if I do that and then say upgrade. Oh. You know what? I'm going to pause. I'm just going to bulldozer all of this road that we can get to. Not that bit. And then we're just going to build the road in again. And I just put it in the middle there, just so we can put a slight curb on it. And then, do you know what? I think I'm going to go with the roundabout. Can we unlock more roundabouts? Is that something we can get access to? More roundabouts. Yes, please. We can also get advanced road services so we can get road maintenance facilities, traffic lights and signs. I'm going to get that because that is the sort of, that is about as far as your traffic management options are going to go. So I'll take a look at that in a minute and how it's a little bit limited in some ways. So we're going to put a large roundabout in. Or you can't put it anywhere. I can't put it where it says Belmont, for example. Okay. I'll put it there. Fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I didn't mute. So sorry. Let's um, take another quick look at our natural resources. So if we do a little estate around here around here they're gonna be quite close to this industrial area and we might also want to put like a, a, a forestry one in there at some point but yeah needs must needs must city's gotta grow you know city's gotta grow annoying we can't snap it straight to the 90 degree on it or to the middle of the roundabout although that does look like it's coming off at 90 degrees so that's absolutely fine so we'll bring that in about there 
I might give this grid tool another go. But again, it's saying I can't because it is clashing with that. It's overlapping with the road that I've already built. It is so weird how that happens. Very much appears to be a bug. I very much hope that is sorted because it can be a little bit frustrating. Although now that's fine. That's It's fine with that one. That's not a problem. Where's 90? There it is. There we go. There's our first little suburb area. Low density is what we need, so low de density is what we shall get. And we can extend that to the other side a little bit later on. Let's speed things up. Is there a way to get to change the time? <clears throat> oh, new signature building available, the Pop Musician Mansion. The terrace of this house is perfect for the parties the pop star living here loves to throw. Well, hang on a second, where do they go? Right there, look. Plus two well-being within 500 meters. It'd be nice if it showed me where 500 meters was. Um, it doesn't really fit in this area, does it? But I might put it over here, just so we can at least see it. Just so we can at least see it. Beautiful. Well, that's going to make people a little bit happier. And that's what we want. Oh, we also unlocked fire and police. I didn't even see that happen. When did that happen? That happened when we became a large village. We got livestock farming, which can be set up anywhere. Stone mining, fire and rescue, and police. Did we say we had ore nearby? I don't think we did, did we? I think we had oil nearby. <clears throat> and stone quite far away. So we're not going to worry about ore uh, processing yet. Maybe we'll do a little bit of poultry farming though. We'll have a look, see if we can find the, the menu showing our sort of import and export for stuff in a minute. See if we can find where that is. In the meantime, let's get a fire station set up. We'll pop that one over here. Bearing in mind we're going to delete that road at some point and we've got room to expand. It just builds on the same tile anyway, so that's not a problem. And then a police station, which will pop <clears throat> up here. And then take a look at the upgrade. It builds onto the existing asset tile. Wonderful. So now we have services for everything. So if you have a little quick look, healthcare is great, including this area. Uh, Garbage collection is great. Fire and rescue is great. Disaster control is non-existent. Let's ignore that. <laughs> police is fine. Uh, education is a little lacking over here, but they're going to have to make do for now. They're just going to have to make do. There must be a way of um, skipping night time, right? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Just so you guys can see it in all its glory. I do realize now that I've built the pop star mansion right next to the schools. Is that a bit weird? It feels like that's a bit weird in this day and age. Maybe I shouldn't have put it there. We'll just ignore it. We'll ignore the fact that that's creepy. <laughs> I've accidentally made a very creepy pop star mansion signature building. No matter. Right, what was I gonna look for? I wanted to look for and I've got no idea where it is. If we click this, oh, here we go, here we go. So electricity, we are exporting a good amount, actually. It's costing more than it's bringing in, but we are exporting quite a lot. We could build some more wind turbines, or we could build a power station to increase our export. But the fact we're exporting is good. It means we've got surplus. Excellent. Water and sewage it's costing us a lot of money it's costing us a lot of money but that's i guess what water does right what i wanted to look for was actually i can't even see production yet i wanted to see our production one to see what we were importing exporting in terms of livestock do we get that at grand village we get that at grand village okay well we need some more commercial so let's build a little commercial area 
on this side. It's going to bring that right up to the coast, actually. That's um, <clears throat> that's a horrible curve, but we're, we're keeping it. What's happened there? Oh, there is actually a really steep inclination there. So what we might do then is have a little go at doing some landscaping. <clears throat> so if we want to slope, how does it work? How does it work? You click one and you click the other. I'm not sure which is which. Do we just do this? I don't think so. <laughs> See, that's created it at the same level it already was. Ah, so if I create it at the same level and then slope it afterwards... Looks like that's actually created a nice slope. And then we can use the softened terrain just to remove these nasty, nasty edges. Now when we build a road... Nope, didn't make a blind bit of difference. Do you know what? It's fine. It makes it a little bit different, doesn't it? Makes it a little bit different. So this is going to be our commercial district. I've got no idea how that's going to look. Weird and super janky. I love it. I love it. And then we'll bring in this one down here. Oop, let's turn that onto the straight tool so it doesn't get things confused. And I might even see how weird we can make this junction by doing that. Oh, it's horrible. Beautiful. Again, I love it. Right, let's put in some more commercial. Not that bit. Because that's going to zone in that bit of the road down there, which we don't want. And that will serve this little community and a bit of the industrial area over there. We have some medium density residential requirements. Now, as I sort of hinted at before, ideally, you wouldn't just stick these next to each other. But, um... Hey-ho! Welcome to the channel. We don't like to do things proper around here. We just wing it. That tool seems quite useless to me at the moment, if I'm being honest. I wish you could change the way the zoning worked a little bit. I'm sure there'll be a mod for that in the not too distant future. We'll do a small apartment building. We haven't had any apartment buildings yet. Let's have apartment buildings. We also do need some more low density. So we'll pop some of that in. And then some more apartment buildings over there, which some of these will get destroyed when the road... In fact, I might even just uh, stop those from zoning in so they won't get destroyed. Excellent, excellent. Well, that is probably a good place to think about stopping this video, isn't it? Wanted to see how full it was. Zero. Why is there zero garbage we are doing a musical tour of Italia. Land of art. Why is there zero garbage in there? As they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi. There are zero vehicles in use. And I don't understand why. The commercial why. district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores. So we can upgrade Getting that if we need to. Luxury to our what does that actually do? You can now shop for Just increase processing. While okay. sipping a fancy <clears throat> local Jarva so we sh would we be able to get rid of our sewage outlet now? That's good now we have this. And good for the community. This even? Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. 
Yeah, because the removed pollutants become garbage to be collected. So let's delete this now. But apparently that's not all good news. Hello. We're joined yes. Today by an what? Expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. Hello. So yes. Housing shortage is bad. Why is this Try invincible? Here, right? Humans <clears throat> are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual. <laughs> I don't know why our sewage outlet pipe is invincible. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we've got some of our medium density apartment blocks over here have come in. Nice. Yes. Again, it's a little weird, separated by the uh, the low density on either side, but hey ho, hey ho. Got some building in over there. Let's shush, shush, quiet ye. And we have an industry demand coming in. But like I say, we'd maybe look to do a little bit of. Um... In fact, how do you do it? Oh, there it is. Specialized industries. We can get our livestock farming set up. So maybe around where the fertile land was. You don't need the fertile land for, for livestock farming. But if we're going to have a bit of like farming industry around here. Maybe like up here, we'll do some livestock farming. Awesome. Well, I'm going to leave that there then. As I said, I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a series. Hope you enjoy this. If you did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Let me know if you want to name any of the particular roads after any of you guys or anything like that. Uh, I don't know if you can rename particular assets. Or you can. <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's just leave it. Leave it. Don't, don't, don't say anything, man. You'll get in trouble. Um... Yeah, thank you again to the devs publishers for providing a key so I could get a, a little bit of an early look at the game. That was really, really appreciated, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's, it's clear to see where they've made some improvements to city skylines. A lot of the road tools, like the merging of the lanes and that sort of thing, all works so much better than it did before. We didn't take a look at the traffic options. So I can quickly show you here. So at the moment on this one, we have nothing. I could put in stop signs there, but you can see you only have the option to put stop signs in on every road. You can't say just stop signs like here and here and let this just be a through road, like a lovely collector road. That's not an option, unfortunately. I think it's the same with traffic lights. You can put them in, but only on each corner of the road or each junction, sorry. Uh, you can add crosswalks and grass strips and trees and lights as well. If you have a road that doesn't carry electric, you can add lights to it and it will then carry electric, as long as it's obviously connected to a road somewhere else, which has electric on it already. A little tip for you. There you go. And we can look at doing maybe some parking or something to get rid of the cars parking on the streets at some point, particularly in the commercial area. Commercial area is a little bit blur at the moment. We really need some of that, uh, high density business don't we that's what we need it also looks very american at the moment it'd be nice if i don't know if that's because you can swap between them but yeah it looks it looks very american um commercial i would say but still it looks great we never really had a look at our industrial area oh i love that with all the pollutants pouring into the air Oh, and with our uh, our wind turbines in the back there. I love it. I love it. And so, yeah, next time we need to do some more low-density housing, a little bit more industry. Like I say, we'll do the poultry farming for that. We'll think about doing some forestry here. we got the... Oh, there's so much stuff going on. So much stuff going on. I can't wait. Can't wait. Right. I need to finish up. Otherwise, I'm just... I'm, I'm sort of stalling because I want to play more. I'm just going to have another go at getting rid of this. Why? Why can I not bulldoze that? I want you to stop pouring sewage into the water. Please let me stop pouring sewage into the water. No matter. Anyways, I'm going to go. Did I do everything? Like, comment, subscribe, stream on Wednesdays, all that good stuff? I think I did, right? I think I did. Oh, let's just have a quick look. Not a big fan of how the pylons cross the water. Not a big fan. I would like to see a different asset rather than the same pylon, but just on a on a concrete block randomly in the water. I'd like to see that done a little differently, I think. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. All the good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Outro, outro, outro. Look forward to more City Skylines 2 in the near future. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.